What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video and the start of a new series here on the channel. We're going to be taking you through the evolution of John Cena through my WWE figures. This is not going to include every single attire. You know, I don't have every single one, but I do have, for the most part, every single attire that John Cena has ever rocked. There are multiple baseball, football, basketball jerseys and hats and stuff that he wore to the ring during 2003, 2002, and uh, I don't have all of those in figure form. However, I am going to take you through the main ones and I hope you guys will get a kick out of this on the evolution of John Cena. I want to give a huge shout out to G Natty. He is a absolute boss for letting me borrow this series and take it on. So huge credit to him for the inspiration of this video series. I'm going to take you through all the way from the start of John Cena's career to current day. So let's go ahead and get started. So it all started on June 27, 2002. John Cena would answer the challenge of Kurt Angle and come down to the ring for his WWE debut on SmackDown. Kurt Angle would ask him, you know, what is the one quality that you possess that makes you think you can come out here and be in the ring with the best in the business? John Cena would then reply with ruthless aggression and therefore launching his career into the WWE known as the prototype in OVW coming over into WWE. Nobody thought that this guy in the these tights right here and this weird AF haircut would be able to become one of the greatest superstars in the history of WWE. In October of 2002, John Cena would then dress up as Vanilla Ice on a Halloween-themed episode of SmackDown. He would start performing raps and freestyle stuff, you know, wearing different basketball, football, and baseball jerseys to the ring, cutting different freestyle rap promos on superstars. This would all continue until about 2003 when he adopted the Word Life gimmick and the Doctor of Thug Thugonomics where he would wrap the, you know, the Word Life chain and the Word Life wristbands, gauntlets, and everything, rocking the Word Life hat as well. He even had a couple t-shirts that I do not have at that that time. In 2004, John Cena would then start to rock his 54 football jersey that he actually did wear when he played college football. When John Cena began feuding with Carlito around December 2004, he started to rock the Ruck Fools shirt, you know, denying authority and rocking this with his Word Life wristbands and Word Life visor. After the 2005 Royal Rumble, John Cena would then start to feud with JBL and his cabinet. He would lose his United States Championship to Orlando Jordan, then go on to defeat JBL at WrestleMania to win his first WWE Championship. He would then start to rock the chain gang jersey, hat, and armbands, as you see here, with his Word Life wristband on his bicep right there. Post WrestleMania and May of 2005, John Cena would begin wearing his Champions Here t shirt with the arrow pointing down to his waist with the WWE Championship spinner belt. This is personally one of my favorite attires. You know, he rocked this with the chain gang hat, armbands, and chain. Just one of my favorite iconic looks of John Cena from 2005. On June 6, 2005, Chris Jericho would be doing a highlight reel episode on Monday Night Raw where he announced the first pick of the draft lottery in WWE, and out came John Cena, the WWE Champion of SmackDown. This was huge news because it meant that the WWE Champion was coming over to Monday Night Raw. After John Cena came out, you know, on the highlight reel from Chris Jericho's announcement, he would begin then feuding with Chris Jericho on into SummerSlam. This is the look that John Cena started to rock going into SummerSlam, and he wore this to around early 2006. From early 2006 to late 2006, John Cena would begin wearing this black and white Hustle Loyalty Respect shirt with the You Can't See Me white armbands with his black chain gang armbands on his left wrist as well as a variant version of his black chain gang hat. From late 2006 to early 2007, John Cena would then start to wear this dog camouflage chain gang assault battalion shirt with cam camouflage armbands and hat. The hat is not the right style here. It's actually the new WrestleMania 23 Elite hat. It's that sort of shape. It's like that uh, military style baseball hat, which I need to fix mine. But that is the attire that John Cena wore until early 2007. From the summer of 2007 to late 2007, John Cena would begin rocking this white, live fast, fight hard attire with the You Can't See Me white armbands with the black outline. I really am a big fan of this attire. He actually wore these armbands and hat with the orange Hustle Loyalty and Respect t-shirt that you will see in just a second, but he wore a variant of those attires all put together. From late 2007 to April 2008, John Cena would begin rocking this orange and black Hustle Loyalty Respect attire. He was wearing this before he went down with injury, and then of course he did wear this when he came back at the Royal Rumble in 2008 when he won. From April 2008 until July 2008, John Cena would begin rocking this camouflage 
flashback retro gaming attire with some uh, dark green, black, and then his hat was, of course, you know, a digital camo. And this was one of my favorite attires as well. Very unique and very uh, nicely done. I love this t-shirt. I actually own this one, and the hat is very nice as well. From late 2008 until June 2009, John Cena would then begin wearing this blue and black attire with blue armbands and blue and black hat. This is around the time that he would start wearing, you know, the different color attires. Up until this point, he really was sort of switching it up, not having specific color themes. From July 2009 until November 2009, John Cena would rock this green, yellow, and black attire. I call it the John Deere attire because it literally looks just like the John Deere logo. Even the same font, I believe. I don't know how they didn't get copyright infringement on this. But I think what's really great about this attire is the hat. I love that green and yellow. It just really pops off with the contrasting black. Towards the end of 2009 into August of 2010, John Cena would rock this orange attire with the blue accents. He literally almost wore this attire for almost an entire year. I remember being fed up with this attire when he wore it, so when he changed, I was definitely happy with it. From August 2010 until March 2011, John Cena would wear this purple and yellow attire. And until recently, this is the only time that John Cena had ever worn purple in his attire. And I think this is a nice one with the contrasting yellow and purple. In April of 2011 until later on in 2011, John Cena would begin to rock this red and blue attire. I think people mostly remember this from his feud with CM Punk. You know, that was the biggest feud probably when he wore this attire. And that's pretty much what I think of when I look at this attire. I immediately think of CM Punk and their great feud. From late 2011 until March of 2012, John Cena would rock this Rise Above Hate attire, and I really like this attire. I love the digital camo shorts with the red, black, and white shoes. It really contrasts all together with the red, white, and blue of the t-shirt with the black and white hat and black armbands tying together with the red and blue as well. From April 2012 until November 2012, John Cena would begin rocking this green, white, and black attire. I really enjoy this attire. I just love the way the light blue shorts and the black and white shoes tie into the green shirt and hat and armbands. And it's just a very nice attire. In October of 2012, John Cena would rock his breast cancer awareness version of that green attire. You see on the front it says Rise Above Cancer instead of Rise Above Hate. It's got the pink armbands and pink hat with black shirt. This is a really nice attire. I wish that he would wear pink as one of his primary colors. You know, with MDT Live and everything, I think this would be a beautiful attire. Pink and black is just so nice, especially when you don't see it often. With those blue jean shorts and black and red shoes, it really all comes together. From the end of 2012 till around February of 2013, John Cena began rocking this navy blue Never Give Up. I really enjoyed this attire. I just thought the navy and yellow really tied in nicely with his khaki shorts. From March 2013 until around post-WrestleMania and a few times after WrestleMania, John Cena would rock this yellow version of the Never Give Up attire. I like the yellow better than the navy. I just thought it really popped nicely. It's, being that the armbands and hat are navy, I think that the contrast of the yellow shirt with navy text just really worked, worked out really well. From post-WrestleMania 2013 until September 2013, John Cena started rocking this white Champ is Here shirt. You know, we had seen his Champ is Here shirt in the past, but this is the upgraded version with the WWE Championship from 2013 on it. I really love these shirts. They're probably my favorite attires. I just love the Champ is Here attires. He always rocks, you know, the custom t-shirt with the armbands that he's wearing at that time. And this t-shirt with the navy armbands and khaki shorts really ties together very nicely. In October of 2013, John Cena would start to rock his breast cancer awareness version of his Navy Never Give Up attire. The shirt is a light pink, which I liked very much. I love the highlighter pink on the armbands and hat. It really contrasts well with the t-shirt and the khaki shorts. And, of course, his lime green and black shoes tied in all together. After October 2013 on into January 2014, John Cena would begin rocking this white, even stronger shirt. You know, another variant of his Navy Never Give Up and yellow attire that he was wearing in later 2013. So I really like this shirt. You know, it's uh, crazy how he wore four different shirts over the span of this Navy and yellow attire. But uh, that's how I remember it. You know, it's sort of the alternate version of the Champ is Here t-shirt from 2013. In early 2014, John Cena would begin to rock this black with lime green and reddish sort of mixed in there. I really like this attire. I thought it was cool because it always tied into his, you know, Kmart exclusive John Cena black and lime green sneakers. Sometime between early 2014 and summer 2014, John Cena would begin to rock this You Can't Stop Me t-shirt with camo shorts with the black and green tying all together. 
In the summer of 2014, John Cena would rock the lime green variant of the black and lime green t-shirt. I prefer this one better. I just think the shirt looks better with the khaki shorts and black shoes. Not to hate on the, you know, black and lime green original attire, but I just think this one is a bit better. In the late summer of 2014 on into late 2014, John Cena would start to rock this red shirt with yellow accents. I like this attire a lot. I think that Mattel sort of dropped the ball on this. They made it sort of a maroon color, when in reality it was more of like a brighter red color, but uh, you know, what can you do? In October of 2014, you know, the keep calm and whatever meme was running wild in the nation. So John Cena took that upon himself to make his breast cancer awareness t-shirt with the keep calm and never give up. He didn't, you know, change his armbands or hat, which I thought was disappointing, but he did, you know, in fact, rock this t-shirt with his red and yellow hat and armbands. From late 2014 on into the beginning of 2015, John Cena started to rock the yellow variant of the yellow and red. And if you'll see here on the shirt of this yellow shirt, the red is more bright than the Mattel hat and armbands. But I really like this attire. I think the yellow shirt is fantastic. It really pops off with the black shorts tying into the red, black, and yellow armbands and hat. In early 2015, John Cena would begin to rock this light blue and black attire. I absolutely love this attire. I just think that the blue and black really ties together nicely. It also has some yellow, uh, you know, highlights in the back there. And I really think that this is one of my favorite attires that John Cena has ever worn. In the summer of 2015, John Cena would become United States Champion. Then he would start to rock this US, the Champions Here US Championship version. I love this shirt a lot. One of my favorite attires John Cena has ever worn. The text across the front that says the Champions Here with the American flag behind it is so beautiful. It really resembles, you know, the United States Championship, how the American flag goes across the middle plate. This is truly one of his underrated attires and definitely one of my top ones. From late 2015 going on into 2016, John Cena started to rock this orange attire with the green and white accents. I gotta say, this is probably my least favorite attire that he has ever worn. I just did not like it at all. The green and the orange is just ugh to me. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the shorts or what it was, but I am definitely not a fan of green and orange together. And I'm very happy that he dropped this attire. John Cena would then go down with injury and then return on the Memorial Day of 2016 with his Ellen DeGeneres shorts that he got on her t TV show there. I really like this attire. It's got the black, blue, red, and white all tying together. Very, very nice. And of course, you got to throw in your Ellen shorts. From, you know, that Memorial Day of 2016 on into January of 2017, John Cena would then have his t-shirt changed back to the original design, copying the Paps Blue Ribbon logo. You know, I guess they had to figure out some copyright issues, but then they figured it out and he did wear this on into January of 2017. Again, I really like this attire. I prefer the square logo over the circle logo, but uh, I'm glad that he was able to keep this design. From early 2017 until the middle of 2017, John Cena would begin to rock this blue uh, Respect Earn It t-shirt. I call it the Florida Gators colorway because it literally looks just like the Florida Gators. Even copies their font on the t-shirt, hat, and armbands. So I don't know really how they got away with that. But I did like this version and I like the blue shirt better than the orange version. Which takes us to our next attire. This is the attire that John Cena wore from middle 2017 until late 2017. And this is the orange variant version of the Florida Gator attire that I was just talking about. I obviously do not have the updated green attire that he is currently rocking right now um, before he took his leave of absence after WrestleMania. But I am trying to get it. There's actually a guy on Instagram, Muscle Figs or Muscle Bro Figs, that has the updated John Cena that I'm trying to trade with him right now. So uh, I'm trying to work that out. But that pretty much does it for every John Cena attire that he has rocked. There are obviously a couple... Um, from 2007, I think there was a few that I missed out on that I have not quite gotten because, you know, the uh, camouflage jersey that he rocked in 2006 and then the red jersey he rocked in 2007 are hard to track down four figures. So if you guys have a way of getting those made, I would surely appreciate it. Obviously, I'm also missing a lot of the basketball jerseys and such that he wore in 2003 during the Ruthless Aggression era early on. So if anybody, you know, has a few customs or whatever they want to throw in, I will definitely try to figure those out. I hope you guys enjoyed this first Evolution series, and I'm going to try to do better in the future, you know, let you guys know more information and stuff like that moving forward, but there were so many John Cena's that I had to, you know, cut it short on a few of them just because I wanted to make sure to get all of them in. Comment down below future superstars you would like to see during this series. Again, huge shout out to G Natty for the idea of this video. You know, he was a huge inspiration with his uh, videos that he did over a year ago on these things. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys now the rest of my John 
Cena collection because this was not all of them. So yeah, guys, this is the rest of my John Cena collection, all of my loose ones. Uh, I actually have a few more on display over here. If we look up there, you will see like the different variants and the ones that Mattel has made. Uh, these are a couple career-defining moments. The, the titles aren't on them, though, so that kind of sucks. But I will be getting those. That's a Lance Catamaran John Cena Elite over there. But so I have, you know, a few career defining moments that are alternates of the, you know, the attires when he's shirtless after the, you know, matches that he won. And then, of course, we have all of the rest of my John Cena's. I think I have 97 total. So I'm trying to, you know, get more of his defining moments. Also trying to get, um, you know, those basketball jersey attires and maybe a few other things. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.